Previously on the Peanut Butter Gamer Show. Smiley Man, what is that? You got me a Christmas present again this year? I can't believe it. You didn't have- We now continue the Peanut Butter Gamer Show. Smiley Man's gift, despite being in the exact shape of a video game, was in fact not a video game at all, but a map. So Peanut Butter Gamer traversed the land in search of his hidden gift, and after minutes and minutes of walking at a decently brisk pace, he began to approach his destiny. The Forbidden Forest. Well, it was just a forest, really. I mean, technically it wasn't even a forest, it was just some trees next to a school, but eh, you get the point. This is where I buried my sims. Curse you, Smiley Man! No! 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 My Sims Kingdom is a tale about a king that really sucks. He used to have some Harry Potter fans that did all his work for him, but they all must have died or something because they're gone. Now he needs a new wandy guy slave to do his work for him since everyone's life sucks now. And with that, I've got to create my character. Usually I try to make him look like me, but I don't really care, so... That's kind of the problem here. I think instead I'll just choose the stupidest option in every category and see what I come up with. This, apparently. I like his bald. And of course you've got to name him too. You know what, from now on, every time a game gives me one of these create your own characters even though I could care less features, I'm just gonna name him East Assess Erdit. Worked pretty well last time. All right, and I'm done. I ran out of letters though, so I guess East Assess Erd will have to do. You know, if I was gonna trust a wandy thingy to anybody, it'd be this guy. The game starts off and you're a pig herder, just what I always wanted to be. Thanks, video games. And you're diligently sweeping the exact same spot for what appears to be an unlimited amount of time. Kinda reminds me of someone. I'm just gonna relax and water my lawn for the next week or two. After a bit, your friend Buddy, get it, he's your friend and he's named Buddy because he's your friend, so he's your buddy. And that's his name. Buddy is your buddy. Buddy, buddy. It's pretty complicated humor, it's okay if you don't understand. Then he falls, and East Assessus Erd does not like that one bit. <laughs> it is offensive to him. And there's some kind of spoiled princess character, but I don't really think she's all that important. Wait, her name is Princess Butter? Hey there, babe, you can be my Princess Butter Gamer anytime you want. So then you go to the castle and participate in a contest to see who's good enough to become the next wandy guy. The person who wins gets the wand, and the runner-up gets a... Toaster oven? Awesome! All right, let's do this thing. <laughs> Spoiler alert, you can't lose. Which is too bad, because I really wanted that toaster oven. So you go back to the castle and everyone cheers for you. Kawasami, is Squally. She's a bit slow. Speaking of she, that's your friend Lindsay. She helps you out on your journey, and by helps you out, I mean she shakes your bag around and it gives your wand special powers. Uh. Finally, I have it. After all this waiting, the wandy thingy. <laughs> Why did I just get a pencil? Okay, I can't go any further without mentioning this. I'm only a few minutes into the game and it's already driving me crazy. The Simlish. Shoom, Dop Derm. Oh, Dop Derm. Mm hmm. Ooh, Krista Pika. Warba Chow. <laughs> These are Gark Habis. Do flee me, Hebisloo. <laughs> Omi Dopey, Nakalaka, Slakadudin Slorbizo, Ladabusha Karamasa. <laughs>
Just in case it's not obvious enough already, I'll spell it out for you. I have very little interest in this game, but if there's anyone more disinterested than me, it's my character. Did you finish your chores for today? Can we go play now? Mm-hmm. Let's look for someone who needs our help! Mm-hmm. I need someone to go out into the kingdom for me and set things right. Rebuild the broken parts of the world and make the Sims happy again. That is your quest, Easter Sessessard. Mm-hmm. Speaking of what you're supposed to do in this game, that's what you're supposed to do in this game. That one right there, what he just said. I don't feel like explaining it any further. Let's go sailing! You heard me right, there's sailing in this game. Maybe it'll be like Wind Waker and I can have an adventure. Yeah. Adventure. Right. <laughs> this isn't an adventure. This isn't an adventure at all. So Peanut Butter Gamer traversed the lands of My Sims Kingdom in search for a true adventure. He didn't find one. Instead, he found boring chores, collectathons, more annoying Sim characters, and for some reason, aliens. Succumbing to defeat, he planned on ending his review with this dramatic reading, but then realized that it would be way too short. So he decided to continue for a few more minutes with some pointless filler content. Right now, I'm on a cowboy island. Silly, Lindsay, there's no reason to be scared. It's just a girl pretending to shoot with her fingers. That can't hurt you. Leave it no. to me. Ha! Or can it? Here's a lady. I think she's a bumblebee. This guy's a jerk, but he'll stop being a jerk if I build him some cool stuff. Sounds legit. Well, I'm not so good at this, but here's a pile of wood. Huh. He likes it. Maybe I'm not such a bad wandy guy after all. Now I'm on some other place with some other stuff. Girl says she needs a visitor center for some stuff with her things. No sweat, I'm the world famous Wandy guy. Let's see, how do you make this center? Okay, I'm gonna need five happies and 25 cherries. Oh, I see. Her animal preserve also needs a bridge, so I built one with dead cow heads all over it. Isn't that great, Mr. Baby Bear? You're next! Then there's this place with a decapitated robot. You find all his parts for him, including his legs, which you have to herd over to him. This is my favorite part of the game because you get to wait for the legs to come out from under the stairs. And they don't... they don't. They just keep on going... to the, st to the stairs. Woohoo! I like this video games. And for your final quest on Outer Space Zone Land Island, you have to convince poor old Vic here that it's perfectly safe to fly in a rocket that even the head scientist said will probably blow up. Alright Vic, it's time. Mm -hmm. Wow, he's about to get launched into space and most likely his own death and even he doesn't give a crap about this game. It's okay though, I made this rocket and I saw to it personally that it was safe for space travel. Here we go. Tip, sweet, Gina, soon, twee, Oops. And that's pretty much My Sims Kingdom, I admit it. I liked it a little bit more than the first game. I still don't see the point in actually playing it, but at least it had its silly, quirky moments. And hey, it didn't make me want to vomit. So, that's a plus. And just between you and me, this whole smiley man coming onto my show and giving me my sims the shtick is getting old. That's right, me. I called you out. Abacadoobie. Well, I don't think I'll be seeing him around for a while. Want some exclusive updates? Maybe you have a question for me, who knows? I might even have an answer. Then go to my Facebook page and click that little like button. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you want to support my videos, I really appreciate those likes and favorites. It may seem simple, but it really helps me out a lot. If you want to see some other videos I've done, I've got a couple right here. You can click on them, or you can not click on them, but you can also click on them. That's, that's what my mama taught me. Peace.